Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's that time of the week again. Can it really be Wednesday already? Well, it's 7.30pm in rainy, cold Stroud this evening. I hope wherever you are, it's a little bit better in terms of the weather. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to get painting very, very quickly this evening. Hopefully, we're going to do two. Run and tell your friends, share the link, get them all involved, because we've got a great evening to come, I hope. Anyway, without any further ado, I shall ask my wonderful colleague outside to play some credits, and we'll be back to you in 30 seconds. Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining us this evening. And uh, have you had a good week? Have you have you done some really cool stuff? I hope so. Uh, we've had quite a challenging week, but we always do. <laughs> Including work on a project I can't tell you about, but I will do as time goes on. Um, <clears throat> just a really couple of things before we get going, and I do want to just get straight into it tonight. Okay, so we'll rush through this quite quickly because we've got a lot to do. Um, firstly, thank you. Hello, and uh, especially if you're new, thank you for joining us. Um, so I had a my nasty migraine at nine o'clock this morning. Uh, it's been coming and going all day. True to the cause, here I am. We're, we're doing it. Uh, you know, we're both feeling like ultra tired and worn out. <laughs> and then I've got lots of medication going on as well. So um, if I'm not firing on all cylinders, I do apologise. I'm just letting you know beforehand. But we want to deliver this, and we love doing it. So there's no I have to chop my arms and legs off before I'm not doing this. So anyway, um, we just want to say on behalf of us both, thank you very much, but we're, we're quite rough around the edges this evening. Next week, just a little bit of housekeeping before we start. Uh, there'll be no live stream next week. I know, major sadness, I'm so sorry to let you down, but I'm having a few days off uh, next week. Well earned and well deserved, I hope. Uh, so we're going to take a break next week, but we'll be back two weeks from today. All guns blazing, all right? So we, we just got to have a rest for a week, all right? Um, I'm just one of those things, I'm sure you understand. Um, so uh, what I'm also going to do, though, on next Wednesday, do keep a lookout for YouTube because I'm going to post a video that we've pre-made uh, with, a, video, with a, a painting being done, okay? So we're still going to put out some content for you anyway. So that'll come out on Wednesday. Tonight... We're going to be drawing for the big painting giveaway. We did one last week, which is sat over there in the corner. But uh, the one tonight is the one we tried to give away at Christmas and couldn't. And then we draw, we've drawn it twice. Still can't give it away. So we're going to draw it tonight. I mentioned it last week. If you've already commented on the video, the art giveaway video from December the 18th, you're already in the draw. So we're going to do that live on air tonight. So we'll do that at the end of the draw. So please do stay tuned, because if you've commented on that video, you're going to be in it. In the draw. Okay, so a um, couple of things that I just wanted to mention. Uh, we've been heavily involved in a big project at the end of last week, which is to do with resin blocks. If you haven't seen it on social media, uh, I do uh, suggest you just come and have a look through um, what we've been posting in terms of some sort of snippets and little videos. Um, we'll put a splash up on the screen for the social media and the subscriber accounts. So if you're not already a subscriber or you're not following any of the social, just follow all of them, one of them, whatever it is, make a note of that. It's on the screen right now. But everything that is happening on a daily basis, we're posting out. There's some really cool things going on. And would you believe we're also on TikTok? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> So yeah, so we're on we finally joined the, the revolution. We're on TikTok. I, I don't know what on earth you're supposed to do with it, but we're on TikTok. Anyway, so yeah, so do give us a follow on social media. Fantastic. Explain about the migraine. Sorry about that. Tonight is explosions night. So I'm going to be creating a dynamic push of all kinds of wonderful things on this canvas. We're going to get stuck in very shortly. Two final things left. 
Uh, you may remember last week we had the most brilliant and amazing and sensational week we've ever had. It was mind blowing. And I did a big pinky sort of red and gold wonderful amazing thing which I've posted again. Posted on social media. A lot of these I know you're following and thank you guys and girls for uh, giving me lots of likes on that this week. But the actual painting has come out so <laughs> incredibly well. I'm ridiculously happy with it. We're now going to play your little slideshow of what it actually looks like. So as you can see on screen there, there are some images of uh, some of the close-ups and I've put them into some room settings. Honestly, it has just turned out magnificent. So, so happy with it. You can see some of those little action. So I'm going to reload here, mate. Yep. Well, no, it's a 1048. Why is that now replaying? Right, we are back. He's back. back. Oh, we're back. Someone tell me you can hear me. <laughs> can, I, can, can anybody hear me? You're back in the room, yay. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Bava Gandhi, hello. Bhavnaga. Nikki J, hey, they are back. Chess cam's back. Right, mate, okay. Sorry about that, everyone. Well, I was going to start trying to paint straight away, but obviously our uh, broadcasting software decided to say, eh, not responding. I... Oh, was it a power cut? I know we might have actually had a partial power cut on the estate. It, it just says... <laughs> oh, Lord. Right, are we back? Back again. <laughs> I... Right, what camera are we on, buddy? We're on corner cam. I am so sorry. It wouldn't normally be us unless there was some kind of technical problem, would there? Anyway, right. So you've seen last week's pink paintings. I think, was it, who was it who said, is that your house, Ed? No, it isn't. <laughs> uh, let's just run the pink one again so you can have a look at that and we'll pick up where we left off, all right? Uh, yes, Nikki, the universe is saying I should be resting, I know. No, we can't hear you. Oh, thanks, Leo Holmes. Yeah, very funny. Thank you, Funny Fox. Big Worm, Loretta go nothing uh, it would be the same without weekly tech issues yes right so are we playing that on the screen then buddy right so there's the pink one so anyway let's get back into some kind of order the pink one awesome it's turned out amazingly well i'm going to get that on the website in the next couple of days and um anyway that's that so shall we shall we see if we can get on with some stuff shall we blimey it's all a challenge, isn't it? Right, yeah, Timothy Burgess says put another 50p in the meter. <laughs> Let's do some hellos. Denise Weeks, Derek Austin, Den um, what was that? Just, oh. Funny Fox, Tim Stanton, uh, Rahul Sharma Fine Art, hello, how you doing? Nikki J, Tina Lanning, Third Eye Open, formerly Rod Line, thanks for your feedback. Derek Austin, I've already said hello, night to you Derek, I'll answer your canvas question in a minute, Bruce Rudman, hi uh, Megan, hi how are you, Dina Vanti, we didn't get to see the painting close up, well don't worry, I'll post it on the uh, site this week anyway, so don't worry about that, the gold is spectacular, Henry the Artist 78, thanks very much, Neil Wasteful, uh, Loretta Leo, Hazel Brown, Swamp Yankee, hi, Nana Mia, Serge Livanosh, what a beautiful name. Hi Serge, don't think I've spoke to you before. Uh, Hazel Brown, Sherilyn Angel, uh, first time live. Hello Sherilyn, woo hee hee. Okay, I think the tablets are kicking in, I really do. Um, okay, who else we got? Explode 1989, good evening. The Rita, good evening. Uh, who else are we going to say hello to? Lucy Blake, HP, hi from Heather in Yorkshire. Artfish42, boom, hello, Paul Chapman, first time watching, no pressure then, Paul, uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, greetings from Colorado, that's Mark Spencer, Dean of Ant, oh we've already mentioned you, mate. no offence, Machine Hall, Michelle Greenfield, yeah you're back, hello Funny Fox, back again, it's great there's some new people tuning in, guys and girls, thank you so much, I hope we don't disappoint tonight, yeah sorry guys, raining here, and I'm convinced the water is getting into the power supply, unbelievably, yes, it, uh, it probably is that, Okay, boys and girls, should we, we do some painting? Here we go. Now then, 
what I want to explain this week again for those of you who haven't seen the stream before I am painting in a mask because I'm using enamel paint enamel paint very toxic nasty always trying to kill me so that's why I've got a mask on anyway through the miracles of technology I have a backpack with my chest cam wirelessly transmitting all that's going on first person so I'll try and keep as still as possible because I keep getting told I move around too quickly like I've got a firecracker up my bum. Um, so I'm trying to keep a little bit still now on chest <laughs> There we go. Right, so I tell you what, I'm here we are, I'm walking slowly. Um, right, who else we've got? Zane Taylor. Oh, Zane, 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 yes. Have the uh, little dance please, Ed. Okay, there's my little dance. There we go. Enough of that. Things I do for your viewing pleasure. All right. Yes, we have new paints this week. Oh, for those of you who have been asking. Yes, I finally got some new paints. So let me introduce you to my lovely gold. I've got some aluminium. Got a brand new fluorescent red. Don't know if we're going to get to use that tonight. I've uh, got some more orange. Got lots of my monochromes. Got some pink. Got some, did I get a purple kind of, I got a purple, got a Suarez blue back, yay. For those of you not seen Suarez blue before, look, it's my own colour, woohoo. So we're going to use some of that back, in fact, yes, that is on the list. So, Explosions Week, what on earth does that mean then, Ed, I hear you all asking. So what we're going to do, here I am standing on my giant canvas, is uh, I'm going to start with black and I'm going to go into white in the middle and the white bit in the middle is going to be the explosion. And it's a very unusual technique. Some of you might even have known um, me use before. But uh, the technique essentially is me wearing it like a giant hat. Yes, I kid you not. So, I am now going to... We're on the overhead cam and the chest cam. Must keep still, Ed. Must keep still. Um, so I'm going to get some of the cans open. Whilst we do that, if I go quiet, it's normally because AD, who sat out in control, um, which uh, is my wonderful colleague who switches between all the... Uh, well, he just basically does everything. <laughs> He's, uh, he might shout into my ear if some of you got questions. If you do have questions, especially if you're new, please fire away and we will do my best to try and answer them as we go along. Right, okay, so... <sighs> oh, Hazel Brown, your cat's watching this too. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> moving on. Right, so, chest cam. Here we have a beautiful metallic pearl. Well, it's called pearl gr uh, blackberry, but it's a wonderful purple. Right. Right, so, Swamp Yankee Guitars. I, I know you've got this thing, Bill, about, about putting holes in the cans. Look, the, 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 the problem is, once you've got... Look, let me explain this once for all. As soon as I undo a can, I'm letting air in the can. So I put the, the lid on, I'm trapping air. So no matter what happens, even if I put holes, wherever I put holes, I'm going to get air inside. And because it's an air curing paint, that reaction with oxygen is what helps to dry it out. So no matter what, unless I can make that a vacuum, the paint's always going to be drying. So no matter what I do with holes, whether to vent, to pour or anything, I'm still it's a fantastic idea, but unfortunately it just doesn't work for my paints. Hopefully, um, I've tried to explain that already, my friend, but um, yeah, a shout out from, from Bill. He's tried to come up with a solution to stop the paints from drying out into these layers and to make it dispense a bit more easily when there's a skin on the top, but um, there isn't an easy solution for that. I suppose the, the solution is, is just to use more paint. <laughs> okay, right. So Pussy Galore says that the uh, paint table uh, that I'm currently dispensing paint on is uh, is one of my best works. Do you know what? I wouldn't disagree with you there. We'll probably put some photos up at some point. Okay, so if we go back to chest cam. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just dispense some black in here. So this is going to be quite a cosmic thing. There's going to be a lot of black and blue and white and cream and purple and silvers going on. But for now, if we go back onto overhead, so I'm going to do a line all the way around the outside. It's going to look a little bit unusual from a technique point of view to start with. Now, one of the things I have to be really careful of with these starbursty ones, and I'm going to work quite quickly now, I'm not messing around tonight. One of the things I have to be really careful about 
is that actually the layering that's how many that's really sort of how the painting is built up it all comes from the center so i've got to be um reasonably careful with the exterior of it that's the outsides because the outside has to be covered but i don't want it too covered because i don't want it to mix with the paint that goes over the top if you see what i mean so i tend to have quite uh i have to think quite carefully about what goes where if that makes any sense uh, let's get the really dark blue. This is a really nice kind of metallic -y blue again. So Derek says, cover them in cellophane. Cover what in cellophane? The paints. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good idea. Actually, uh, moving on from what uh, Swamp Yankee Guitar said, I did actually uh, remember as a kid using Kilmer. My mum used to make jam and she used to use these glass jars called Kilmer jars. And you could get these wax discs to put in the top. So I've actually ordered some wax discs off a very popular e-commerce website. <laughs> and um, I could probably place the... Uh, are we on chest camming? So I can uh, use these wax discs to go over the top. And then that will stop the air from, um, from curing the top layer. So actually, uh, by having this conversation, which was brought on by Bill at Swamp Yankee Guitars, we are actually in a position of almost sorting it out. So great, great team effort there, boys and girls. Yeah. Yeah, so good good one suggestion, Henry, but it will actually melt if we try to do that. So it's going to be have to be a wax-based substance rather than a cellophane one. Um, have to be very careful what's in a lot of these products, especially gloves and things like that, because they tend to melt very, very quickly. Okay. Well, this is good. This is a lively debate. Right, I'm just going to get a little bit more blue on now. So, what are we looking like on the overhead then? Hopefully, just like a load of lines. Right, okay. Here we go then. Let's let's uh, let's get the Suarez blue in, and then. Uh, oh my lord, that is beautiful. Once I've had a swish and a swash of this round, we'll I've got some on the canvas. We'll have a quick look at your comments. Right, okay, so I think we're on the uh, central high def camera now, so let's get the blue on. So, oh man, I just love this. It's just frighteningly expensive. Well, all my paints are. I wouldn't, so I, I'm not going to tell you how much I've spent on paints today when I collected them, but uh, it's, it's just depressing to think about. So, I mean, they are gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but my goodness, I just can never ever get used to the cost of them. <laughs> Ouch. Right, okay, my my fabulous friends, let's spread some of this out now. Because, which one are we on? We're still on PGZ, mate. Right? So, uh, in the centre here is pretty much where I'm going to be doing all my, you know, the light colours, all that malarkey. So I don't really think at the moment I want to put anything else in there. Having said that, I'm now going to put a drop of silver in. <laughs> Now the point of that is, my lovely friends, this is probably going to end up mixing quite a lot with what goes over the top. The important thing is I do not want any white of the canvas showing anywhere around the centre. Absolutely not. So I'm going to be working from the outside in and I'm just going to spread this around a little bit. Now, there we go. So Noose Miller's, well, we're still, we're st yeah, thanks for the comment. We're still on the uh, what to do about the drying out of the paints. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a good idea, but I, th I think that's quite a complicated bit of reverse engineering when all we need is some wax discs, which we've hopefully calculated should do the job for us. But thank you so much for your suggestions. I do, uh, do appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, $100 oil paint? Who was that who said that? Cali Curry Shocker? Goodness me. Well, I'll, sh I'll show you a part of paint in a minute that cost me £135. Well, yeah, I mean, um, I, I dread to think of the amount of money I spend. Well, I do know exactly how much I spend a year on paint, but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> it's frightening. Oh, it's frightening. I could have bought a really nice car. Anyway, so let's move on. So 
So um, just uh, who was that who said that then? So HB said, "What caused?" Well, she said, "Is it?" I'm not sure if you're here or is she. I'm so sorry. But what caused the flaked effect? Well, by that do you mean like the selling? Well, that's because I added a special compound, which uh, we affectionately call the special sauce, and um, it has got a selling compound in it. Um, <clears throat> so that's what we used in that. So I hope that uh, hope that makes sense. Right, so see if I can get some nice patterns here. Now the crucial thing here, I just want to get most of the canvas covered in the centre. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to be covering that up. Now with base coats, if you're new here, I tend to work quite quickly on base coats, especially when things start to get covered up. Interesting, who was it I had that conversation with? Ah, have we got Vince Edmonds here this evening, buddy? Has anybody seen him on chat? Where's Vince? So Vince is a, uh, a regular viewer, some of you may know him from the comment section. Yeah, so had a little chat with Vince Edmonds, I know he's an artist, earlier on this week. And, uh, oh, that's my short-term memory gone, I've forgotten what he asked now. Um, no, it'll come back to me. There's me, I, I couldn't concentrate on doing two things at the same time. How embarrassing is that? What did he, no, what did he ask? Oh yeah, I've got it. He said, you tend to work very quickly. He said, I'm surprised you can you can do what you're doing and I mean, it looks so well he was very complimentary don't get me wrong he said it looks so good this is reference to the pink one we did last week um he said how you know uh, how, do, how do you get it done so quick and I said well it's just practice you know I never used to be this intimate with the paint so of course it's just practice like everything the more you practice the better at something you become and um I hello Bob Zem nice to see you so I just basically said, um, well, it's 12 years and one hour. That's how long it takes to do these. <laughs> anyway, but it was very, very sweet. So, uh, there and you know, the other thing is I can't, I cannot physically stay in here for more than a couple of hours because it's just too oppressive wearing the mask. My, by the end of the broadcast, you'll see my, probably my breathing starting to get a little bit lay, but it's flipping hard work and it's physically hard work in here um, you know but sometimes things all have to be done in one go you, you don't really have an opportunity even though I can keep the paints fluid to, to really go, sort of go beyond that anyway right how are we doing oh thanks Noose yeah always seem to get a base coat on and you like it just as it is yeah I mean you know it, <laughs> If I'm painting for the website, I have to have a plan together. I mean, there's no way you can just rook up in here without any idea what you're doing because the paints will bite you severely. And I would hope that even if it's not at this point in time, at some point in time, I just want to make the whole thing look effortless and easy, even though, you know, we all know it isn't. Who, who was that who said that? So we had a comment, we're just trying to trace a comment down. Somebody said just do it to, in order to stop Michael Squires, in order to stop the, the paints from uh, from drying out, just paint more, just do it. So what, what does that mean if we're just going to do it? Let's just do it. Do it! Just do it! Yesterday is set tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Nothing is impossible! No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! <laughs> Right, okay, so we're gonna pop some um, gonna pop some white on there now. Let's just have a quick look at the uh, comments. So I'm just looking at the overhead. Overhead's looking good. Uh, those of us who paint know it isn't easy. <laughs> Loretta Leo, hello, how are you? Vicky Waring, oh, hello Vic, hello. And what have we got? Uh, Michael Angelica, I really like the car cavernous look. Has depth of a Clifford Steel. Oh, you know your art, don't you? <laughs> Thank you. That's a real good compliment. I'm really. Uh, we, we saw some of his work down at the Royal Academy a few years ago. Utterly mind blowing. And there was another. We're on call. I'll tell you another artist we saw as well. Just while I changed gloves, Barnett Newman. <laughs> mind blowing. Go check out Barnett Newman. Um, mildly challenging, but the scale and the colour of his works are uh, extraordinary. Right. Okay, so let me tell you where we're at then, ladies and gents. We are base coated. We have dark going into light. And now in the centre, 
we are going to do light going into dark so this is the contrast now so this is the this is the crucial bit now you can see on the corner cam as we zoom in zoom in I'm just putting some mineral thinners on all the mineral thinners really does is just to uh, to stop the uh, the drying process from from taking too long sorry I've just to extend the drying process my apologies okay so I think that's pretty reasonable the purple around the edge is looking quite nice it just breaks up the harshest of the blue I like purple with blues and blacks it's the bit that adds the warmth okay so now here's an interesting thing you may not know all I'm going to do at the moment is add white and the only reason I'm going to add white uh, slightly thin down is for this reason because we've got quite a lot of paint already on there in terms of its physical depth what will happen the white's now going to react with it and some of the bottom color is going to come up so the white's going to sink down so it's going to create all these beautiful kind of striated kind of starburst effects and uh, where it isn't so loose uh, it's going to fall off the edge so we should get a real nice you know thick intense sort of you know exploding star kind of effect going off in all areas i want the intensity of it in the center and then i want it to fuse with all these lovely colors as it pulls it out towards the edge that's the basic principle <laughs> now all we've got to do is figure out if we can get it to work right so let's get the white out we're going to get two lots of white in the corner and just before i apply that we'll have a quick look at the comments again and see if i can answer any of your questions Thanks Artfish, sorry you've got to go off and see a client. We wish you all the best, thank you for tuning in. Fingers crossed for the competition, which is coming up, so don't, don't go anywhere. Okay, so... Right. Yeah, so as you may have seen in some of the comments, ladies and gents, we are going to do the pesky 10,000 subscriber giveaway i mean we're on 16,000 subscribers now so we're going to do the same again at 20,000 but we've tried twice already unsuccessfully to give away <laughs> one of the paintings i did two stella diva and solar fury and uh can we go to chess cam for a second please buddy thank you chess yeah just going to mix up the white and uh yeah so we're going to do that giveaway uh probably in about 20 minutes time So incognito, what's your incognito where I try to understand how to get depth into my work and thought I'd ask you if you can explain what causes depth. Okay, well straight off the top of my head, a lot of depth can be done with two things. One is colour and two is shape. So in this particular instance, I'm using colour to get my depth. Now, without going all sort of art history on you, which is just going to be terribly tedious, <laughs> There are lots of contrasts between light and dark and it's really having those contrasts that for me anyway helps me achieve some of the depth you know you can't have one without the other you can't appreciate one without the other if you make it all one particular thing how do you ever see the other if you're surrounded by darkness how do you ever see the light etc etc so the more extreme you can get with that the greater the appearance of depth that you can make that's what i'm saying really but we'll leave it at that just for now anyway right <laughs> Okay, so I'm now going to start applying white in the centre. Now the one critical thing I've got here, I've got to be so careful of before I scoop this up and wear it like a hat, and I kid you not, it's exactly what I'm about to do in about three minutes time. I've got to make sure I get plenty of paint going in the longer direction than in the shorter one. So I'm going to apply this in a bit like a, a biblical star. So just, right, here we go. Let's just get some on. I need the bulk of it there, okay. Is that going to be enough? I'm going to go crossways, but I'm only going to go crossways with the cream because I need to warm this up just a little bit. So, but I'm not going to thin the cream down. See, now we're starting to get technical with what goes thinned and what doesn't. So Heather, what do you have to do to be in the giveaway? Dead simple. Just click on uh, my YouTube stream, uh, sorry, on the channel, and scroll down to where you see Art Giveaway. And it's about the seventh or eighth video down. It literally says Art Giveaway on it. You can't miss it. Just leave a comment. That's all you got to do. 
just leave a comment, just tell me which one you like. Uh, uh, you won't have time to watch the video because uh, I'd normally say you need to watch it. Uh, but don't worry about that. Just literally leave a comment, you'll be in the draw. Right, okay. So here we go now, I'm going to do some cream. Because <laughs> I need that to spread out. That's fine actually, what the hell. Let's do some that way as well. And uh, this is where this is where it gets uh, <laughs> this is where it gets interesting. So I'm just going to go in with some thinners, although it's already thin, so not too much. But I just need that to move. Right, never done this before, not with the camera and equipment on me. So, God help me. Right, we're all ready for this. I think probably a mixture of Ada just asking me camera, probably corn and PGZ, buddy. Let's definitely leave, unless you want to go chess cam. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, all four cameras on. Let, let's let's just see if we can do this. This is as nuts as it gets. Oh God, am I really doing this? Right, let's start that way. Right, I need to probably go over here because of all the drips. Uh, where are we going? Where are we going? Right, can we see that starting to move? I'm going to have to. Right, I wonder. I'm wearing a canvas. I'm wearing it. I'm actually underneath. Oh, God almighty, excuse me for blaspheming, what is going on? I now need to see where the drips are going and I can't see what's going on. Yes, drips are coming off. We've got drips. Oh God, what's going on? I'll try, try and get it off. Oh Lord. Right, okay. Let's, let's see what we got, let's see what we got. Oh no! No, it fell over! Ah! Damn it! Right. <laughs> Let's straighten that up. Let's straighten that up. Don't move it, don't move it. Oh, oh. oh gosh. Right, just give me a breath back. Yeah, I do, I do get into my work, don't I? Right. <laughs> the TP technique, I like that. Right, we, we got to do this again, dudes. we we got to get this moving down here now, look. Right, there we go. I, I told you, I told you I was going to wear it, didn't I? Right, let's think. Let's think a sec. Right. Uh, it's all very well, but I need to get a little bit of something in the middle of it. Let's try that. Okay, we'll have a look at some comments in a minute. Thanks, guys. Appreciate all your uh, your thoughts. <laughs> oh goodness me! Right. Okay. Should we do that again? Let's this time do it properly, shall I? Right. I need it all to go that way. So if I go around that way. Okay. <sighs> so it's got to go over there, hasn't it? So I need to do a little. I'm talking to myself. It's madness. It's madness. Let's just spray that part. I have to do that again, guys, I'm afraid. Should we do it? Should we do it? Do it! Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Right, it's all gone very quiet in my head. Now, where I've got to make sure I don't I get my folds and my flaps right. Which camera are we on? Here we go. Right. Oh shoot. I'm going to get covered in this stuff, aren't I? Am I already covered? Oh. <sighs> okay, right. Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay, well, apart from that bit, that's not too bad. So what am I going to do about that? Let's have a look on the overhead. Right, is it a plane? No, it's super red. <laughs> We're making a tent! 
Cosmic Lou again, thanks very much. I'm sure there's a compliment in there somewhere. Right, we've got a couple. <sighs> right, let's just see. I'm pretty sure we've got a couple, a couple of attempts left at this. So. Right, let's just um, gotta sort myself out here. Right. Oh no, I'm covered, man. Right, okay. Come on, think, think, think. You gotta pull this out of the bag. You're almost there, son. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Come on. <sighs> right. Let's sort this out. Because there's one more I want to do tonight, so I've got to get a move on, haven't I? Lord, you've all got stuff to do, man. 40 minutes in. Haven't even done the draw yet. Right. Head, 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 think. Right, you sprayed it. You've got your movement. You've got white. I don't want that to go grey. So I now need to get my Suarez Blues all right. I'm losing my purple. Uh... Yeah, Stephen, it's not easily reproduced, is it? You're right there, right. Come on, I think I've, got, I've probably got one left, one movement left on it. I can probably do it once more. Oh, Ice Blast, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I'll get back to the comments in a sec, everyone. I just need to... We've we almost got this. We've almost got it, but we're not quite. Hmm. Got to keep the... Uh, really, really... Got to be careful on the colours here, everyone. I can't, can't mess this up. Right, so could I no, just help this on its way? There we go. Let's do one there. I'm staying with the black as it is. I need to do one here. Let's do one there. Help it on its way. And yes, why not? Let's, let's bring the last one out here. Oh, come on, Ed. Come on, Ed. <sighs> Come on, put the paint on, boy. Right. Okay. Now, need to sort that out. There we go. Neat sinners. Oh, hallelujah. There we go. Right. I've got one more opportunity now, and then it's like, it's, it's, it's curtains. So, where have I got my issues? Where the canvas folds is the one thing I can't have happen now is for the canvas to refold over itself. If that happens, it's game over and it goes in the bin. <sighs> Under pressure. Dun, 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 dun. <sighs> Coming out of the tundra, Tim. Whoa, what an epic name from Tim Stanton. I'm loving that. Right, okay, here we go. One more. One more and we is done. <sighs> right, here we go. This time, I'm not going to wear it. This time, I'm just going to... Give it a <sighs> shoot. My right arm's going to be a work of art when I finish this. <sighs> right, okay. <sighs> Let's get that taken out of there. Oh man, it's quite stressful this. Right, that's better. Let's, let's, let's get over here. Pink corner cam. Oh yeah, PT sensor. Right. Okay, so oh, come on. Don't 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 fold. Do not fold. Fold. We got it. We got it. Ice, ice tundra. <laughs> oh, that was worth the effort, wasn't it? Oh my God, it stuck to the floor. Oh, seriously. No, mate, it's right. I, I, I will get it. I will get it. <sighs> right. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Right. <laughs> there we go. I'm stopping with that. Oh, my entire top is literally wet with the paint. This is not good. Might have to go for a quick change. 
Oh, that's all right. Price we pay. Anywho, let's get some more gloves on. No time to stop. We've just got to go for it. Good job I've had my tablets. Right, holy moly, super cool. Thank you, Michael. Stalagmites, thank you, funny fox. Nicky J, frozen fractures. Ooh, we've got some good stuff. Well, that last one changed it a lot, sir. Yes, it did. Sandra Thompson, yay! Uh, thank you, Zane. Yeah, looks like a surf crashing up against the rocks. This is great. I was asking if he. Okay, I'm not even going to go there. Uh, needed. <laughs> Moose Miller, love that. Yeah, thank you, Tanya. Thank you, Ian. Uh, Hillary Waring, hello. I got uh, winded just watching you carry that. Oh, lordy. Deep ash train. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Uh, okay, so perfect. Heather Stoop, very cool. Oh, thank you, everyone. That's really nice. Right, let's get, uh, let's get this moved. I wish you could see it actually here. It just looks stunning. Now, interestingly, look how much of the black has just been literally obliterated. But interestingly, that will start to come through as it dries. You can start to see it just in certain areas, that black coming through. There's only ever going to be a base layer. Right. Well, it didn't quite happen as an explosion, did it? Who cares? It's a, it's a cool painting. Can't wait to see what that dries like. That's going to be pretty epic. Right. My beautiful friends, let's get that over here. There we go. What time are we on, matey? Right. Sh shall we do another one? Should we do another quickie? Well, ladies and gents, what do you think? What's the general consensus? Have we got time? I mean, I've got time, but do you want to see another one? Theme one? Let me know, just while I manoeuvre this. Yay! <sighs> Yeah, Ian, very good point. You just can't replicate it. <laughs> now that's... Is that setting down there? I'll tell you for why. It just puffed up in the centre. It's probably no bad thing. Never seen that before. Right, I'm just going to let that... Yeah, it's like I've got an air bubble in the centre. Uh, right, so let's get some lids on some paint. Sorry if I'm uh, panting a bit. Which camera are we on, mate? Okay. Right, so, tell me where we're at. Right. Okay. Right, so... Guys and girls, thank you so much. We're seeing a lot of new faces this evening. Uh, it's just so great for you to tune in. It really is. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to give us a subscribe uh, to the channel because we're, there's a minimum now updating twice a week. Lots of cool stuff. We're starting to put some new paint videos in as well as advice for artists and creatives. All those kinds of things. Give us a subscribe. Don't forget to like on all of the social media networks because that's where all the cool stuff is. And please do share to friends and family if you think they would like this. Watch out on social media for the links throughout the weeks for the things coming through. The key thing is, is we just all have a little bit of fun and that's the whole point. Okay, so without further ado, seeing as the general consensus is that we should do some more. So we're going to stick, not completely stick with, the, uh, with that theme. 
we're just on now but I am going to do something now and uh, I'm going to do a really lovely blended back background so let's get that on right so on the overhead now you can just see that I've popped on some black I'm going to use the remainder of the silver now I have got a new silver which is all very nice so that's that one done <laughs> right, so I want to get just some, there we go, some of that on, and I'm going to get down on my hands and knees now as if I'm not doing enough of a workout this evening, or I should do because I'm too lazy to go to the gym. Uh, <coughs> right, okay, so let's give this, could I do it with, I don't know if I've, right, we're on all cams are we? Right, don't know what you're going to see on the uh, chest cam bit of my knee no doubt right so we're going to get a nice kind of a rough kind of background done and I'm going to go straight over while it's wet very very quickly now I need what goes on the top which we're going to have some nice colors in here now what goes on the top is going to have to mix very quickly with what lies underneath so this is more for fun than anything but this um the black and that metallic silver gives such a deep um rich kind of rarid tone and when you're using a what is essentially a wallpaper scraper which is what this is we're using it in quite a loose manner then uh, you get some really nice effects especially if you're quite haphazard with where you're kind of shoving it and scraping it so that's all this is it's a six inch tile spreader really so if you're grating tiles at home uh, something I'll be doing hopefully when I do my bathroom this is what I'll be using. Nothing based in science or anything here. It's just an ability to get paint out. But with these particular paints, you get some mental effects. I mean, they do look awesome. You combine some thinners, the enamel paint, uh, and a couple of uh, a couple of basic tones. It's, you're absolutely enthralled by what kind of effects you can get. So I'm just trying to work quickly as I can over here because what I want to do is get. Uh, get some real nice top coat lines put on it but I want to go full length so as you're seeing it on the overhead now hopefully what I'll be able to achieve for you is some left to right full width um, paint applications and we're going to go with a nice kind of turquoisey greeny colour we're going to get a pink in there oh that's nice So we're going to get some nice stuff in. I can see some shit. Well, Aid is telling me about the suggestions coming through, which is great. Nice to see you all getting involved. So we'll pick a couple of colours. Um, So I'm just going to ask AD a question. So who was that asking? Incognito, you're asking a question, Tempo. Okay, so yes, unfortunately you don't have a studio like mine, you can mess up. <laughs> and you're asking about something about art history, is that right? A book reference. Well, I don't really know of uh, many books because I don't really read a lot. I certainly don't have many art books either. Um, so I'm really sorry, but I can't really recommend anything, my friend. Uh, the only one that I've got which tends to cover virtually everything, which I know about, is a book by Andrew Graham Dixon, I think his name is, who's a BBC presenter on BBC4. Oh. Uh. Uh, yeah, so, sorry, just uh, AD talking about the bike, we might have a few mic issues. Okay. okay, yeah, so Andrew Graham Dixon, I think is his name, and it's just called Art. And it's basically a history from ancient Egypt, you know, through Renaissance, Raphaelites, Modernism, Cubism, every otherism you've got going. Um, and I got bought that probably about six, seven years ago. 
And actually on the odd occasion I've had a chance to look at it, it's pretty good actually. It's pretty good. <sighs> I'll check the mic in a sec guys, I just need to get this on and a bit of a spray on. New York City streets, is it better? <laughs> right, okay, um, so I need to give that a quick spray. So I just want to keep this as fluid as I possibly can. That's all. So the metallic's going to look really nice in that. I need to get a fair amount of thinners, especially through the centre. Because I just want to get the colours on now. Well, I'm just going to check with my colleague on the time. What time are we on, buddy? 55.46. Okay, let's see what we can do now, my friends. Okay. Thank you all for sticking with us. We're going to do the drawer as soon as I possibly can. Literally probably got three or four paint applications left and we can get on to the drawer. Thank you so much for staying with us. on. Okay, so I've got to go left to right now. I'm going to get some, This a lot of this is going to disappear when I get thinners on. Okay, let's just get something on for now and then uh, we're going to start manoeuvring that around in just a moment. Right, that's the lime done. I want to get the pink on as well because I did suggest pink. Uh, I've got a few metallic flakes in front of me as well. I'm very tempted to do something with that if I get the opportunity. So we'll do a little, some little swoops now. Not all over the place, just in a few selected areas. Just one there. And let's get one around there. Nice. That's good. I need to get a little drop of white in there. Not a lot. Let's have one more colour after the white. Now I just want this to be a little bit sort of circumnavigating the place. Um, thinking because I didn't use the duck egg last week, I should probably pop that in now. So let's get that out. That's quite nice. Oops. Okay, I'm going to have a look at some comments in a moment. Now I need to thin this down before it goes on, even though I am going to be thinning it down when it is on, if that makes any sense, because this is a semi-gloss. My semi-gloss is quite thick, so it does need a little bit of work. Okay, let's just pop that in. Splodge, look at that. That is... That's thick, man. That's thick. Let's get that thickened down. Take but a moment. Okay. Let's give that a whiz round. Thanks, Noose. Yeah, lime green's a winner. We didn't use, I think we didn't use any last week, did we? No, of course we didn't because we did pinks and everything last week. Lime green's nice. We need to just calm that down a little bit. So I'm just going to go in with some of this. Right, let's get some of that there. Little drizzles and drabs because a lot of this is going to disappear. Okay, that's fine. I want one tiny accent. Who's going to shout out one tiny accent colour? Let's see. Uh, Kermit's tongue. Is that, is that what it's called, eh, Tim? Very red from George. Interesting. I was thinking red, actually. A turquoise pudding. Yeah. What's that? I'm going to just ask Aidy, what does that look like on the overhead, mate? Do you think you need to put a dash of red in the middle? Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Let's, let's do that. Should we, uh, should we just pop a tiny... I just want a tiny drop. Yeah, I was thinking purple. Let's just pop... Okay, let's just pop a little, little bit of that in. And then... Let's put some red spangles in, shall we? I think, I think it's a red spangles night. Mm, that's a challenge. 
I'm just gonna yank it off. There we go, right, red spangles, here we go. Oh, nice. Oh, this goes down in the waft, that's unusual. Never done this before. It was Aidy's idea to use some um, pigment. So that's exactly what we're doing. Right, some pigment, let's give that a douse. Okay. Let's give that a douse, nice. Because I need this to move. Let's see where that goes now, shall we? Yeah, I'm wondering actually if it does need a little drop of orange here and there. Right, there we go, that's that. Right, what have we got? Okay, that's spreading out quite nicely, that's quite interesting. Mmm, right, I think, yes, actually, right, proper do a bit of drop of orange. Let's finish off with orange. So, we've just made it to the hour, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for tuning in this far. You're very kind, the draw's coming up. Yes, Rita, dry pigment. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? It's art, isn't it, after all? Just... That's it. It's just art. Okay, right. A little drab of orange. Okay, so what do we got? I think I'm just going to revert to my... Oh, no, let's have a tongue depressor. Because I just want to make this into some little art. Just move this a little bit. Cause it was mainly something I wanted to go through the centre. So let's just see if we can encourage this a little bit. There we go. Okay, bring that up there. Let's get that into here. Much better. Much better. Let that sort itself out. Only play some real... Yeah, this is where I could sit on it for about three hours now trying to do things. I'm not going to go around and ruin it. Okay, that's fine. We'll we'll leave that as it is. I think it's time we did the draw. I always have a little bit in a minute. My goodness me, I've made a mess. Oh, all my clothes are sticking to me, so uh, I'll just have to completely rub myself down in a minute. Who uh, misses? Right. Okay, take a breath. Ed. Okay. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, are we ready? to a draw for the um, pre-Christmas paintings. I, thought, I think we're about ready to do that. Let me check with my colleague, AD. Are you ready for the draw, sir? Well, let's go on to chess cam. Okay. Hopefully we're getting good at this now. So, let me just tell you, I am on the YouTube random comment picker. I have entered the URL of the YouTube video. I'm taking out all duplicate users. And there are 772 unique comments, so one of these is going to win. So if we're all ready... This is my start button. And here we go, I'm going to count down. Exciting again. Second week in a row, we're giving something away. Here we go, alright. On three, on two, on one, and we're going! Where's it going to start? No one knows! P3 NK Kin. I can't even pronounce that. But anyway, <laughs> that is the winner! Woohoo! I don't think there's anyone online at the moment. So oh, good. P3. Is that supposed to be pink? I have no idea. But anyway, I shall pink in. Yes, yeah, man. I think I will contact the winner. No. Now, if you weren't the winner, please do not worry, because I've got a sneaking suspicion they won't get in touch either. Do you know this could go on, couldn't it? Have you thought about that? This could literally go on all year. <laughs> try, to, try to pick a winner fairly in a random. Oh dear. Anyway, I'll let them know tomorrow that they're uh, winner number three. Do you know what? I'm just going to give it till the next live stream, and if nobody's come forward, we'll draw again. So, don't give up hope. Keep tuning in. Two weeks' time. That's all you got to do. Anyway, right, so let's just see how we've got. 
Okay. Interesting. Probably looks a bit odd on the overhead, but in here, that's got some great interesting little things going on now. Anyway, look, we were just having a little bit of fun. Right. So, my wonderful friends, let me come round and see you. I can tell you now that that one is going very well. That's looking very nice. Should we have a, should we have a little look? Should we have a recap? Totally not how I planned it. I think if we were to do that again next time, it'd look completely different. That's part of the fun. But I'm really, really happy with that. That's, a, that's cracking. Very happy with that. So here we are, trying to keep as still as I can on chest camera. This will really start to develop now, and I think it'll kind of calm itself down with the red moves with the black, because you'll get this kind of sort of burnt, kind of umber kind of thing going on. It's already moving in all kinds of weird and wonderful directions, which is great. Um, but it's really just an experiment, just to have a little bit of fun with it. All right, so again, that'll be really interesting to see what happens with that. We'll post some photos on on the old uh, on the old social media as the week goes on. Right. One final look at the comments. I can't believe that you've stayed this long. Thank you so much. Right, so the winner, P3N Kin, was the winner. Somebody just asked that. Penkin, I think it's supposed to be. Anyway, Heather Stroop, enjoy the video. Fantastic. Zane Taylor. Well done, Ed and AD. Yes, AD, to give yourself a round of applause. AD in control, as always. <laughs> Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> right, okay. Aid is going to post the winner up now. Derek says good luck with the wax. Have a nice holiday, Ed from Funny Fox. Thank you so much. Uh, take care and rest. Michael Squire, amazing how much they change just sitting. Yes, indeed they do. Enjoy your break from Tanya. Thank you very much. The blue one looks fantastic from Stephen. Thank you, Stephen. If you've been new here this week, thank you. If you're still here, you deserve a medal. Well done. Hope you had a bit of fun. We're not trying to raise the Titanic or cure cancer. We're just having some fun. Thank you so much. Um, P, P3NKIN. It is just talking into my ear. Let me quickly go back over. P3NKIN. Yes, I uh, do. That's it. We're just checking. So we're just uh, posting that on so you can all see who the winner is on YouTube. Okay. I know, Loretta. I can't believe it's over already. Um... I got to try to trick you to pick up my painting of Swamp Yankee guitars. Enjoy your break from Nicky J. Thank you so much, last week's winner. Uh, Sandra thinks we're fun. We got some thumbs up. And uh, looks like you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Uh, well, look, ladies and gents, thank you all. Oh, Cheryl in just at the end, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Um, two weeks' time, we'll be back. Subscribe, look out on YouTube and all the other social networks for the feeds. We hope you've enjoyed yourselves this evening. We've had a blast. My head's splitting. He probably wants to go to bed, so we'll probably sign off now, ladies and gents. It's been a pleasure. We'll post photos as soon as they're done. Bit of fun this week. Hope you've enjoyed Explosions Week. I think we'll have to try that again, because that model looks like ice crystals and an explosion. But hey, we'll have to do it again. Anyway, on behalf of AD and myself, thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you again in two weeks' time from Suarez HQ. A very good evening.